All right, what's going on, Walker Nation? We are back, and today I'm going to be filming a massage type therapy. Um, I haven't done one of those in a while. I think I've actually ever done one of those. So I have my massage therapist here, Kate, who she comes to my house twice a week. Hey. Or I say Kate, Cat. I'm sorry, Cat. She comes to my house twice a week, Thursdays and Sundays, which are usually my off days. So that's when I have her do my massages and help me recover a lot faster. Um, so being two weeks out from the Arnold, now I'm gonna let her explain what she plans on doing uh, today. Hey guys, so I've been working with Nick for few months now already so usually um, today we hit uh, upper body so we're gonna be using some grass and tools get them nice and lotioned up hit those areas that usually affect them the most especially like pecs delts and lats so open them up make them feel a lot better and hopefully uh, for these next 13 days comes in right <laughs> hell yeah hell yeah <laughs> you want me on my back or my tummy uh, start laying on your back okay Oh, usual tools. Gotta make sure I keep the stomach tight. Don't want any bullshit on my videos. I'm good for the OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, lather me up. Mm -hmm. So usually I just start with a basic kind of rub down see like where he's at what kind of feels tight um and then of course get him ready for using the grass and tools so and then the leaner he gets usually the easier it is to is it really mm -hmm. Well, probably because you can feel everything better, right? Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I can see more, too. Mm hmm. That's true. And I will say this, so if everyone knows. When I was prepping for the New York Pro, I had quite a knee issue on my right side, which was probably one of the main reasons a lot of you guys saw me use that um, whatever machine is called to send the electro signal, whatever. Um, since she started working on me, I haven't had really any knee pain, if any. And my leg training ever since she started working on me a few months ago has been the best leg training I've ever had. And that is no bullshit. Okay. It's gonna get a little hot in here. <laughs> yeah. I usually start sweating pretty bad. <laughs> I do. I sweat so much. We finally got my Xbox hooked up. Yeah? Any good games? I just bought, uh, well, you gotta buy them online, pretty much. Oh, really? So I just bought Madden. I was gonna say, you probably bought Madden. Some type of football. And I'm a big fan of Assassin's Creed. Me too. So I just bought one of the Assassin's Creed. <laughs> nice. Is it the new one? No, it's an older one. Cause I actually stopped playing video games for like years, so yeah. I'm way behind. So. Well, they have like so many cool, cause all the different eras, eh? Yeah, that's what I like. That's what I like. And I didn't realize how many Call of Duties I actually missed too. There was like forty of them. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck are these? I, I, I tried to play one. I got so lost. Yeah. I, don't know. I like the sports games. Like I'll probably get MLB and uh, the basketball one. They make time go by fast too. Mm-hmm. And I just bought another controller. I Instacarted it. Yeah? 70 bucks for a fucking controller. I know, isn't that crazy? Uh huh. That's why I wait till Black Friday. They usually go on sale for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Well, they're, they used to be only 20 bucks. I know. Now you gotta buy them on sale at 20 bucks. And I'm like, well, 
Like 70 bucks? Are you shitting me? Ravens. Fuck. And now they have all the like cool little colors and stuff. You gotta pay extra. There's yeah, I, gotta, I had to get a red nice. one. Yep. That's gonna be my controller. You get the regular one. <laughs> <laughs> you get the one that came in the box. Come on. The norm. Still gonna whoop your ass. That's fine. <laughs> you probably will. Nah, I got my glasses now. I can see. It makes a world difference when you don't got a squint, bro. <laughs> Are they actual prescription? Yeah, I wear glasses. I just never ever worn glasses. Oh, I just thought you were trying to be Clark Kent for a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually Walking I really like, do. Who's this? <laughs> <laughs> I actually probably should go to the eye doctor. I mean, they, they work really well, but I probably need stronger. Still a little fuzzy? Not really, but like they just could be better. Like I don't have to squint at all, but that's good. It like, could probably be a little stronger. Well, definitely don't want them too strong because they'll just make your eyes worse. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> we have time. Let's do some light quad. Quads? Just clear out some inflammation in there because okay. yesterday was a little rough. Was it? We went in. Yeah? Did you hit any cool lifts? I mean, no. The numbers? No. It just was hard. Did it work? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe you did like, we did, uh, fun, like something fun. Well, no. We just... Just the intensity was just... Was there? Yeah. Was it just you and uh, Jansen? Yeah. Nice. And we did um, Smith Machine squats. I haven't done those in forever. I really like them. Smith Machine? I do. Me too. Over like a freeway squat. I just feel it way more in my quad. Well, yeah. You definitely don't have to use the... And I can go a lot deeper. Yep. Like... Yeah, because you're not having to worry about balancing the load on top of it. Right. The only thing is, like, I know right now it's not an issue, but when I, like, grow again and get fat and happy, my mo shoulder mobility is not going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> so. You definitely need it for some That's all right. We'll just, we'll just start doing yoga. Um, I don't know. Get you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Nick doing yoga. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> you does it for the squats. Me, me, me and Kat. I do, it, I do it for the squats. Sunday, Sunday morning yoga <laughs> session. Sorry, pre, pre, uh, pre massage. O only if we go to breakfast after. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting mimosas. Or before, whatever time class is. I'm gonna need some energy. You never realized how tight your triceps were. Nope. There's a lot of things I don't realize, Kat. Sorry. Right. You got insights to things we don't realize we need. <laughs> <laughs> That's a movie, right? Yeah. With the blind guy? With the blind guy. Come on, Kat, you should know this one. I know. This is scary. I don't know if I've ever watched this one. Oh, this is a good Is one. it on HBO or is it on like regular? It was on Prime. Oh, okay, that's they, why. They, we, it was actually, it's, I don't know if it's still in theaters, it's supposed to be in theaters, but it's, you can uh, get it off Prime. Okay. We watched some movie yesterday. What was it called? On HBO? Oh, uh,. Malignant. Malignant? That was yeah. something going on with that, that movie. That was a wild movie. It was made by the guy who makes um, the Conjurings and Insidious movies. Oh, really? Yeah, it was pretty whacked out, though. You'll definitely walk out of that movie like, what the hell? Well, like contemplating life? Yeah, like what? What's real, what's not? This was, this was really crazy. 
So it's don't breathe. Yeah. The first one was really good. We'll probably watch the second one later. So you, are, you watched the first one? Like, I so? have. Well, yeah, the first one came out like a few years ago. Okay. Yeah, it was good. I keep thinking it's it's not the one where they're in the house, right? Well, they are in the house, yes. They're trying not to, and like, you, they're trying to kill him? Well, he was trying to kill them. Oh, he was trying to kill them. Because he was blind, and he, people were in his house trying to rob him. That's why it's called Don't Breathe, because if you breathe, you can hear you. Oh, okay, now I know what you're talking about. I haven't watched it yet. It's an older guy. Yeah. Yeah. And he has, like, a dog. Yeah. And if he can't hear you, the dog will. Always hit obliques really good and hip flexors really good. Yeah. So let's get tight. I feel like they get tight on me like quickly. Yeah. Well, I mean, you have to remember with all the posing and stuff you do too. Yeah. Those like are big factors of that, especially holding your abdomen in. Your obliques are working That's true. extra. That. So did you go hard? You go a little harder on Justin. Oh, he didn't get another massage yet. Oh, I thought he, he, he gave you, he got, he got another one. No, just one. Oh. You know. I'm just watching Sandow. Oh. Yeah, he's, I guess, out of town for a wedding. Or yeah, something. he has a wedding. So. So I figured he'll probably pick up Sandow in the morning for he goes to work. Well, does he come back today? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Or I guess tonight, I guess. Late tonight. It's okay. I'm gonna have a good back pump tomorrow.
this way. It's a little hot in here. It's like a full workout. It is. <laughs> it is. Large humans. Yeah, I was gonna say, especially when I work on big dudes. But they're the most fun. The little yeah. dudes are probably the easiest. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go a little bit easier when I work on smaller people. You just dig in on me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to hold back. Bend. That's the spot right there. Yeah. Can you feel your crunchies? I, I can hear them. Once I feel a spot that's pretty tight, I usually go and work with my hands a little, then use the grass and tools to loosen it up a little bit. And usually like you can feel it when it releases. Sometimes it makes a little like pop or snap or you can just feel the tightness kind of just dissipate. So that's kind of cool when you can feel that. Snap, crackle and pop. Yeah. <laughs> It's like listening to the Rice Krispie cereal after you pour the milk in. You know, it's like. <laughs> yep. I can feel it. And then you eat them and it just tastes good. Like, yeah, that's it. You like pumpkin just as much as Nick does? I love pumpkin. Yeah? Pumpkin flavored everything. Amen. I guess, I guess I'll have to make a double batch of. Yeah, pumpkin. she's gonna make a lot of pumpkin shit for me after the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah? The Olympia, yep. obviously. I might have to steal some. Sorry, yep. bro. You can. Right. <laughs> we're definitely like After the Olympia, extras. we're going in. <laughs> Every year, me and my wife will go to Trader Joe's. Pumpkin whenever they have oh, pumpkin really? spice everything. Yeah. I heard Trader Joe's is the best. Yeah, yeah. We, raid, uh, we raid Trader Joe's when they have all their pumpkin stuff. First time I ever went was when we were in Texas. Yeah. Like last month, we went to Trader Joe's. And they had I these, love Trader Joe's. They had these... Uh, peanut butter cups. It's like dark chocolate with um, like just peanut butter in them. Mm -hmm. and they were like a dollar or whatever for the little bag. Crack. Oh my god. Crack. I bet that's so good. Yeah. I found like a bunch of little cool things that I just bought. That's, that's Trader Joe's. Yep. Yeah. I'm like, ooh, what are these? I'll yeah. get them. I don't know. Let me try them. See how they <laughs> oh, these are good. <laughs> You know what the cardinal rule is though, right? You never go to Trader Joe's hungry. Nope. Oh God. Because you'll end up spending hundreds of dollars. Oh my yep. gosh, so easy. Well, it's funny. So speaking of pumpkin, remember when I got the face mask in the mail? Yeah. I told you, I said, who the fuck sent me face masks? Mm -hmm. So I went on Amazon and the skinny syrups, they had like this trio of pumpkin flavored stuff to put in your coffee. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, I gotta get it. And I believe that's what it was supposed to be, but instead they sent me face masks <laughs> because it said my package was delivered. And I'm like, the only package I got here was face masks. <laughs> so, so instead of, they said, they said, screw your pumpkin, we're sending you face masks. <laughs> and I'm like, well. So. Were they pumpkin face masks? No. Oh. Just They're not even pumpkin scented? Nope, nothing even <laughs> pumpkin related. Wow. Yeah. I'm over here texting my mom, like, did you guys send me face masks? Like, is this a joke? They're like, level L, no.
Let it go. <laughs> I like both of them movies. They were both. Part one and part two. Yeah, because they were both like, they're different movies. They are. I haven't even seen the second one yet. It was pretty good. No. It's good. It was pretty good. My nieces are like obsessed with Frozen, so. Yeah. I'm always a Toy Story fan, but. Did you like all of the Toy Story movies? I did. I know he didn't, but I did. Because you are just Yes. Like, I mean, I did think the last one they didn't have to make. It was kind of like whatever. That was a money grab. But I still thought it was good. Yeah. They should have left it the third one. No, ended, I... I ended uh, perfectly. I 100% agree, but I still thought it was good. I did like the second one a lot, too, though. Yeah. Don't say that. Yeah, that's, yeah. I think that one's probably my favorite. I was really hoping they'd make another Monsters, Inc., but... Well, they do, well, they did make Monsters University. Yeah, but I just want another one. What, the regular Monsters? I love Monsters, Inc. Mike Wazowski. <laughs> they actually have a show on uh, Disney Plus. I saw that. It's supposed to be like a continuation of the first movie. Oh really? I'm gonna have to watch it. Did you Did you watch it at all or no? No, nah, I haven't watched it. I feel like that's probably like the smarter way to do it nowadays because nobody's ever satisfied with just the movie. No. no. There's so much more story we could put here. Yeah. Like they did that with like the Tarzan. Yeah. They did the Tarzan show. Goosey over there. Yeah, adults are always super tight. I know. Why don't you stop working so hard? Yeah, right. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> It's in my blood. Just Tendon's very tight. Really? Mm -hmm. You'd start stretching, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be Sunday. Our, our, it'll be like our church church day. Yeah. Yo yoga flow. Yoga flow. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing Sunday? Going to yoga. I praise the Lord. Not I am sharp. Then you gotta try hot yoga. Oh, dude. Well, hot yoga is the really is the best though. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's like a sauna and you know, stretching. Uh, can I like sit in a sauna first and like get used to it? I mean, like that's what the warm up for before in the hot yoga is. That's a warm up. I mean, like you warm up so that we get used to the heat, and then like you do like your yoga flow in the heat. Yeah, but like I'm gonna have to like take a week or two and sit in a sauna, so oh, I just. Oh no, you don't need. I to gotta get ready. Nah, you see the way you do cardio. Yeah, but imagine doing that in a sauna. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I mean, you're doing it in Florida. But there's no my air conditioning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think I think this is due for a, a YouTube video. I got I know the perfect that, place to go. If we film that, that would probably get the most views. We're going to Lotus. Big ass body, but we're doing some yoga. <laughs> the hot yoga studio. Fully soaked. Fully soaked, literally. <laughs> I'll make sure I wear that shirt too. We're, go hard we're both gonna wear fully soaked shirts. I'm getting them made. Okay. So. Then we're gonna come out fully so. We have to be like the love guru and just say Mariska Hargitay yeah, everywhere we go. Okay, I don't know what that means, but I'll say it. 
Well, have you seen The Love Guru? No. What? No, I, I liked Mike Myers. I do, but I haven't seen that one. It's like, Mariska Hargate is, I'm pretty sure in like yoga, it's like, it's like bless you. Like, oh, really? Yeah. But there's also an actress. Her name is Mariska Hargate. Oh. Who was in like Law and Order. Is that what it is? CSI or whatever? I think it was like Law and Order. One of those shows. One, yeah, one of those. Yeah. There's so many. Yeah. Mariska Hargate. <laughs> Are you going to be like Boo off of Monsters, Inc. Just walking around yeah. everybody, Mershka Hargate! Mershka <laughs> Hargate! <laughs> oh, that'll be funny. Uh, that would definitely be funny. Yeah. A bit like halfway through, I'm like, I don't know this place. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know this man. What the fuck are you? I'll pick you up the back. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. just, just go in the back. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. That is definitely tight. Yeah, it's coming all the way into your bicep. Every time I feel like if you're twitching. It was even crazier to think about, like Sean Clarita posted it this morning. It's 20, oh shit. That got me. I wasn't ready for that. Sorry. It's 26 days until the Olympia. That's less than a month. Yeah. God lord, man. I had to feel it. It's like a bowl of, I don't know what in there. It's a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bowl. <laughs> you got a bowl in there. And it's full of shit. Something, eh? Definitely been going hard. Yeah. <laughs> Your face is priceless. <laughs> <laughs> He's crying for the happiness. Yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. He's like, don't cry. He's rejoicing don't right cry. now. Don't cry. Yeah. <laughs> I love this! <laughs> Nick left for Tampa. What do you mean he left for Tampa? He well, he's he went to Tampa. Oh. He's going. He's gonna. He won't be back until like Tuesday or Wednesday. For what? Well, I guess the to work out with the hypertrophy. Oh, he's like gonna stay there though for a, a little bit. Yeah. Him and Terrence too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess like he's like I guess the last like day they did he said he like puked his brain up. Well, uh, Joe, the hypotrophy coach, he posted a quick little story of Nickel and Ground. It's pretty funny. Yeah, that, did you also see the OnlyFans one? No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah I saw that. Yeah, that's funny. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so you better be paying me that money. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, that'll be that's fun. Yeah. So he's gonna stay with um, one of the guys we met. That one. He's actually a really good posing coach. Yeah, I think I know that. Alan Murphy. Yeah. Yeah. So he's gonna stay with him. Sore from that? A little bit. Yeah. Whoa! Sound like a firework. <laughs> as long as it wasn't my car. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. I think we're good. <laughs> Go get him, Nick. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Just stay there. Tell her what happened with the guy with the controller. Oh, so <laughs> this the guy I Instacart at the controller, right? Yeah. So he comes, I was I was doing something, he drops it off, he puts it like on the door. So I see him walk into his car, but so like I open the door, I get the controller, and I put it over there somewhere, and I went to go walk into my room. And he comes back and he like bangs like boom 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 boom. And there was like no pause between the second bang, it was like Boom, 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 boom. Like normally you wait a sec. Yeah. He, there was like, and I said to the, I guess he heard me when I, cause I was right by the door and I was like, I'm coming. <laughs> and then I go to open it and it like his face, like he looked like he was going to say something cause he heard me. And then he was like, oh shit. <laughs> he was like, look man, I just need your ID. I don't know why they want, they want me to scan your ID. I'm like, oh, that's cool bro. Here. <laughs> And he was like, I, I don't know why they asked, but look, it's good. We're, the order's complete. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day, bud. <laughs> wow. I'm like, it's not that, it's not that serious. He's just stupid. I'm like, why are you banging on my door like that, bro? Just knock. I mean, like, don't drop off the package if you're not ready to drop off the package. I was like, my like, dude. He probably just wasn't expecting you to just... Did he knock to, like, say that it was there? No, I had that, he he knocked because he needed my D. Oh, okay. He was like, I just, or else I just would have left it here. I'm like, well, you cut, you did, like that was what you did, <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god. Why are you always so dramatic, Nick? I don't know. Two weeks out, it happens. I just want my Xbox controller. Yeah. <laughs> I just want my ninety dollar Xbox controller. How mad would you be if it didn't even work? <laughs> oh, Let's not talk about that. <laughs> How you feeling, man? You alright? I feel real good when it's over. <laughs> Nap time. It's pretty probably. Yeah. I really like to get the forearms good because, especially with lifting heavier weights. Of course, your grip strength, everything comes with your forearms, so everything they're picking up, even if it's for back exercise or chest or whatever, still gripping it, so. It's all for, in the forearms. Yeah, so getting the arms good is definitely. It's the forearm strength. Nope, oh, Popeyes. That's why I got big forearms. <laughs> you like to lift heavy things. Where was it all the spinach you eat? It's all spinach. Yeah, that's what I thought. A lot of, a lot of spinach. This is a paid partnership brought to you by uh, Popeye <laughs> yeah, Spinach. Right. Popeye Spinach. <laughs> I want my little two. That's pretty bad in there. Is that bad? Oh boy. <laughs> you like watching the circle? The circle? No. I don't know what that is. You don't know what that is? No. It's good. 
It's like a reality yeah. TV what's, series. What's the circle? It's kind of cheesy, but it's addicting. I think Nick would like it, though, because... Yeah. I probably would. What is it? Can someone explain? Uh, okay, so it's basically like you create a profile. Nobody sees your face. They only see your profile. And you interact with people in the circle. The main goal is to win the $100,000 cash prize at the end by being the most popular player in the circle. So they bring new players in like each each week like they they raid each other so like whoever's at the top has like the power and then they block somebody that they don't like really? mm -hmm. so and people go in either being themselves or they create fake profiles so then you like see the real people like you can watch everybody talk to everybody of course but they're in a house they don't know all what everybody else looks like you like it uh, that sounds interesting it's like a guilty pleasure. Yeah. I do like shows like that. The best part is when someone gets voted off and then they get to visit somebody in the house. Yes. Whoever they want. Yes. And then they're like, oh my God, you were catfished <laughs> the whole like, time. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they going to go see? <laughs> yeah. I have to check that out. There's already like the third season just started. Oh really? So you've got two seasons you can catch up on. How long are each season? I like eight, ten episodes. I think. Yeah, I'd say like ten episodes. That's not bad. We so, have plenty of time. Yeah, they come out weekly, so it's three episodes every week on Netflix. So yeah, Netflix is not doing that. That's why you're up. Yeah, nothing crazy. Just yeah. get rid of some of the inflammation in there. Just tell me if I give you too much pressure on it. Which I usually don't. No, you're usually pretty solid. I'm gonna flip you over. <laughs> it just looks like it hurts. <laughs> no, it, I mean, yeah, it does because my legs are sore, but this, yeah. I actually love Gradson. Yeah. I feel like this is very effective. Yeah. If not, imagine like how knotted your muscles would get. <sighs> just from like not being able to. Well, ever since I moved here, like this is when I started getting massages and stuff. Like I never got massages. So think about like my entire prep for North America. <laughs> I never got a single massage. It just really helps you be able to open up. It does. And it actually, depending on how you do it, it can bring out the definition more. Yeah. Well, the body, like the muscles are actually able to like- Breathe. Yeah, relax. And then when you finally like, you know, make the muscle, uh, muscle fascia go back to being more smooth. Oh, you can actually get like good contraction in your workout. Yeah, you actually more. get blood flow where it's supposed to go and yeah. get good growth. And that's why body work is very important.
It's like we talked about that. It's like one of those things that you don't realize you need until like you actually do you it. You do it, and then you like feel the difference. Yes. And you're like, oh my gosh, I had no idea I was living yes. like this this whole time. Like, why do I feel so different? Mm hmm. Hundred percent. He wouldn't like stop breathing. Yeah. So I constantly have to be like, like breathe. breathe. I don't know why. I hold my breath. That's how I am too when I get massages. Well, That's funny. Like when I, like well, it's even like yeah. when it starts to get like hard or yeah. like, I'm just yeah. like I tense. I got, I try yeah. not to tense, but I like hold my breath. Yeah. yeah. So I don't even do it when I'm training. I'll be like, like I'll be in the middle of the set, like doing that, and I'll just hold my breath. <laughs> like breathe. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, shit. <laughs> like, oops, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. You just go into a state of, oh shit. Pretty much. Oh shit. Oh shit, lock it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lock it down. My like favorite way to describe what Graston does to the muscle, it's like what my physical therapist told me, like how she described it to me was like, basically when you're working out and your muscles are all tight, the muscle fascia looks like cooked spaghetti. Like when it's been drained, it's just all clumped together. Mm. It's just all bunched up. So, and then when you use the Graston to smooth everything out, it looks like uncooked spaghetti. Which is just, uh, you know, straight noodles, so. That makes sense. Yeah. So I always think about, you got a bunch of uncooked spaghetti in you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing I like carbs. <laughs> Especially spaghetti. <laughs> Be better if they were spaghettios. <laughs> How do your glutes feel? A little sore. Um, especially from the stairs. Yeah. You been doing more elliptical stuff? No, I've been around the stairs. More on the stairs, okay. I didn't know if you were going to convert. But now being two weeks out, I'll probably switch yeah. to doing more elliptical bike treadmill just to have it less taxing on the body now. Because I think stairs are the most taxing for the body. Overall. That, that and treadmill, yeah. Well, it depends how you do the treadmill. Well, it's when still, I do it, it's not that taxing. Well, still, though, it's <laughs> still direct impact because you have to step. Oh, well, yeah. So your shockwave through the, through the joint. Where, like, bike and uh, elliptical, your feet actually aren't really forced. Yes. They're getting forced down. They're just. Correct. Yeah. Well, I definitely, so I have a bike, I have a trim, I would definitely want to get an elliptical and stairs. Well, elliptical would be way cheaper. Of course. <laughs> stairs are, break the money. All right. Let's get you turned over. The fun part. It's time to flip the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Hey. Come here. Yes. Okay. Make me wide. <laughs> like a semi. Gotta open them lats. Open my lats. I gotta spread my wings on stage. <sighs> Should have brought my Red Bull. <laughs> Red Bull gives you wings. Should have mixed it in with the lotion and gave you a little extra. There you go. A little extra concoction. Yep. 
It might have worked. wonder if I could sell that. Would you imagine? Just rub it in. You don't need to drink it. Just ask the mutant. Right in the traps. Mm -hmm. Wrong point action. Can you imagine if she tried doing that to mom? <laughs> no. Mom would scream. <laughs> She'd freak out. I mean, I have a bruise. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe she'll watch this video and be like, I changed my mind, Nick. <laughs> I don't want her to give me a massage. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Tell her to leave the tools at home. Tell Mama Walker out. Did you even imagine? Just the little ones. Bro, could you even imagine Dad? I don't even think he would last. Yeah. They would both start crying. Hey, what the fuck you doing? <laughs> <laughs> So like, where would you rank Nick, as far as like tightness goes? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on a scale of one to ten. Would you uh, say he's one of your more challenging clients? Oh, no. Nah. Um, Nick's actually not too bad. With, you mean muscle tightness? Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, there are some areas on Nick that um, definitely need more work than most, but for the most part, he has pretty good range of motion. So, um, it actually helps to get into like those smaller places a lot easier because he can actually move where some guys are like so locked up where they really can't open up at all. So just trying to get in to the areas is like the problem. Yeah. So. That's good. Yeah. So you're not too, too bad. Oh no, especially since I do this two times a week. Yeah. He definitely, after like our first like three or four sessions, he was like pretty tight, especially like um, in his front delts and in his pecs mm -hmm. and in his arms. And when we would work on those sections, uh, particularly, he would definitely have like some like bruising marks. Mm. So, um, but I really haven't seen any, um, no. in at least a month. Yeah. So. It was good. Yeah. So we've been, we've been able to keep it loose. Not where it's not getting so tight. You know it's gonna be weird, Nick. What? So when you watch this video, and you can see kind of what what I'm doing or how it feels, because you know, like you have no idea, like what I'm doing to you right now. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have no <a> clue. <laughs> He's like, I'm just kind of in my zone. I just know whatever you're doing works.
You definitely want to be careful with what tools you're using for certain body parts. Um, especially like tools like this that have like, like this is like a basically like a pressure point. Mm. It's like a solid ball. So you're just exuding like a lot of pressure into one singular point. So there's areas where you could do a lot of damage. <laughs> if you're not careful, so. Mm -hmm. um, it's good if you're gonna use them, at least make sure you educate yourself with them. Because they make, that's why they make a variety of different, different tools. So they each have their own purpose. Okay, Nick. Can you hear you? How you feeling, bud? I feel great. This massage table was the best thing I ever bought. <laughs> Did you Instacart this too? Uh, no, I haven't done that. <laughs> Amazon's another beautiful thing. I feel good. <laughs> you can move now. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Can you see my face? Yeah. Okay. So that is my massage for the day. That is typically what I do on the off day beside watch movies and play video games now. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the little humor, the little pain I was put through and I hope you enjoyed the video and just make sure you guys keep subscribing, swipe up, whatever, hit the notification bell and we'll see you next time.